We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Colorado Rockies. Striding into the box, Gene Segura, and we are set for baseball here this evening. The one two popped him up story over to his left looks it into his glove and there's one gone so the bases are empty with one man gone and that'll bring up the former National League MVP Andrew McCutcheon the one one now to McCutcheon I changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it one and two now. And it'll be important to stay warm tonight. A chilly 44 degrees here at first pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And here's a change up in there for a called third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. So next to the plate for the Phils, Bryce Harper. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Late Rymel Tapia. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2 1. Ball, that's out. Hit to first. Hoskins has it. He'll take it to the bag himself, and the leadoff man is gone here to start the home first. Daniel Murphy steps in now. His lifetime line against Velasquez. He's got four hits and ten at bats. He's taken him deep once. On uh, that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Line drive to left. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. Around second now and headed for third. The relay throw, but he is in there with a triple. That is good. The third day play. Nolan Arenado. At the plate, Nolan Arenado. And that misses two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3-1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. Line towards center field. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And the run will score as the Rockies stake themselves to an early 1-0 lead. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He was one for four back in Wednesday's contest. Could take there to lay off the high fastball. Down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. Into the box, David Dahl. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. On the season, Dahl is, get this, slugging over 700. That's a number almost unheard of, so if you can help it, don't miss any of his at-bats. Count even at two and two. Here's the two and two. 
Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need to make a quality pitch. Popped up. Hoskins is there for it. And that retires the side. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The 2 1 home. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. So the base is empty here with one away. And in steps the catcher, JT Real Muto. Now the 2 1 pitch. There's ball four. Here's Didi Gregorius. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Didi Gregorius. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. A oh, double play ball to second. Four. The second for one. Back to Murphy, not in time, and they'll get just the one out. Up next will be Nick Williams. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. The three one. It's a fastball looked at for a strike. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Hard hit ball to second. Scooped up. Throw to Murphy. He'll take care of him, and that'll end the inning. Trevor Story steps in now. It was an 0 for 4 effort for him in Wednesday's ball game. The 1 1 home. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Catch is made out there by McCutcheon, and that's the first out. So one away here with the bases empty. Man up steps Garrett Hansen to bat. One out, nobody on. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on 3-1, and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. Fly ball into straightaway left. McCutcheon is under it. Two gone. In now for Colorado, Dom Nunez. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. One and two now. I got to one and two. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So at the very least, that two-out base hit will prevent the pitcher spot from leading off the next inning. Batting no. The hooker, Kyle Freeland. In now, Kyle Freeland. Rockies pitcher with a bat in his hands and a one and two count. Skied into straightaway right. On the move is Harper. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Top of the third set to get underway. Now at the plate, Scott Kingery, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. 
the 2 1. Is laid off of for ball number three. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Vince Velasquez. A textbook sack bunt situation here. Velasquez. 1 1. It's a bunt attempt, but he can't get any wood on it. He's going to be looking down at the third base coach right now, hoping he takes this bunt sign off. It's just a lost art in today's game. And he pulls this one back in time, two and two. Still showing bunt with two strikes, but he pulls it back, three and two. Yeah, now you've got a guy up there trying to give you an out by bunting. So the last thing you want to do is waste pitches and maybe put yourself in a situation where you could walk him. From the belt, the pitch. And they do have him scoring with two strikes as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now at the plate, Gene Segura, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Line to the right side. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. So stepping in, Andrew McCutcheon, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Here's the 3-1. That gets down, and the Phillies' first hit of the game is going to be for extra bases. And the run is in to score from third. It's 1-1. One one. And the throw in gets away from him. The right field of the three. Boy. Into the box now. Bryce Harper did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Payoff pitch on its way. Weak grounder down the first baseline, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Here's the payoff pitch. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Balls in pursuit. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Digging in to try it again. Rymel Tapia 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. <laughs> Lifted the other way out to left center. After it is McCutcheon. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So one away now in the Colorado third. And up next, postseason record holder Daniel Murphy. Good break on the knuckle curve, but he missed with it. Two and one. To two and two now. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. But pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. He hit a sack fly earlier. Bases are empty here with two men out. Two balls and a strike. He's fallen behind now, three and one. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. The throw into second. 
the tag and they'll get him at second and with that the side is retired. To the plate now Reese Hoskins. Hit to short. And that's through for a base hit make him one for two in this one. Stepping in now, JT Real Muto. So a full count now. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Giving chase is Tapia. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Riding in once again, Didi Gregorius comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here now the 2-2. Now this is hit not all that hard out to second. To second for one, and nearly a double play. It was closer than I thought it would be, and the inning will continue. Two are gone in the Philly fourth, and digging in at the plate, the Texas native Nick Williams. This one misses and that'll fill the count here three and two with two away. Scott Kingery would be next. Had to sit back on the changeup and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The three two one more time got him looking and that ends the inning. And that'll bring in Charlie Blackman. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. That's going to even up the count at two and two. Now the pitch. Line hard. Foul. Ready with another 2 2. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Williams. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. David Dahl to the plate now. He popped out in his first trip. One run, four hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Rockies so far. Two and one to David Dahl. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he'll reach second now with one away. Up next to Colorado. That's his job. At the plate, Trevor Story. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Williams looks up. Into the bleachers and gone. So now to the plate, Garrett Hampson. Hit the other way out toward right field. Harper is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. Striding in for the Rockies, Dom Nunez, one for one after a single his first time up. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. The one two. Two and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. 
Now this gets all the way to the wall. And he is in the second with a two-out double. Now back, the pitcher, Kyle Freeland. In now, Kyle Freeland. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. To two balls and two strikes now. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. And sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. And in steps Scott Kingery. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Ball two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. The pitcher, number Next to hit will be the pitcher, Vince Velasquez. He did his job and laid down the successful sack bunt in his first appearance. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Liner towards second. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. The bat, number two. Good guy. Gene Segura. Into the box, Gene Segura. Nip the corner. Two and two. Bouncer to the left side. Oh, what a stop on the slide. There's one. Safe. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Now a throw over. And he finds a way to catch the zone here. It's one and two. This pitch is popped up. Nunez is there. And that retires the side. Adam Morgan, a six foot one inch southpaw, will be the one that gets the call from the bullpen here. Number 46. Adam. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. So the Rockies lineup turns over and to the plate. Rymel Tapia. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The 1 1 home is laid off for ball two. Morgan is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. Swing and a miss strike two. Two strikes. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Here's Daniel Murphy now. One for two in the game. He tripled and scored back in the first. The one-two. Swing and a line drive, but right at the shortstop for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in next, it'll be the perennial MVP candidate, third baseman, Nolan Arenado. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Three, 3-2 three, counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Hit the other way out toward right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning.
Jairo Diaz takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 37. Digging in once again, Bryce Harper. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Now another 1-2. Just inside. By much. It's 2-2. Two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at 3-2. and two. And in a two-run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that time run in the on-deck circle as long as you can. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. One for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. Ready with the one and one. Driven nicely into the gap. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull into second with one away. Now the into the box now. JT Real Muto, a bouncer up the middle. Throw to Murphy's in time, and there are two gone now. So now to the plate, DD Gregorius. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Gregorius. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Blackman going back, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. Jake McGee comes on now, and this move looks to be all about playing the matchup here. Yeah, and I don't think there's any doubt about that, Matt. They want the lefty-lefty matchup, and that's usually the right move, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. To the plate now, Nick Williams fouled off. Hot shot on the ground is short. Story brings it in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So next it'll be the number four batter for the Rockies, Charlie Blackman. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. This is line to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Digging in now, David Dahl. He came across to score after doubling in his last at-bat. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at-bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And it's gone. At the plate, Trevor Story. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And there's out number two. And that'll bring in Garrett Hampson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Three two pitch. Good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. The payoff pitch one more time is a swing and a miss That's strike three.
leading off the inning, Scott Kingery. And they'll need him to get something going here. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. Davey Grion will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 23, Davey Grion. Kingery gets his lead at first, nobody out. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And a big sigh of relief on the mound as that nearly tied it, but this ball is foul. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. a high fly ball headed for the left field corner if it stays fair it's gone and a big sigh of relief on the mound is that nearly tied it but this ball is foul he's set here's the 2-2 swing and a missed strike three the throw way late and he's in there easily at second Wade Davis is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch Peter Mooney will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch number 71 Wade Davis no offer on that one two balls and a strike Davis a native Floridian. He was selected in the third round back in the 2004 first year player draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. Seventh inning here at the ballpark, 4-2 our score. Breaks is bad as this one's popped up. Go to Murphy, will take care of him, and that'll end the inning. Victor Arano will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Stepping in, Dom Nunez. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Full count, three and two. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff now walk to start the home seventh. Stop. Peter Moody. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Well, the 1-2 pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on 2-2. Two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. One there, on to first, and they get the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And standing in the outfielder, Rymel Tapia. Two and one. One strike. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count your favorite. He's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. Hit out towards second. And there's his first base hit in this one. The first baseman, number nine, Daniel. Stepping in now, Daniel Murphy. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Nolan. 
Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. So far this season, Arenado is hitting over 350 up in the high 300s. Matty, great matchup right here. He's been absolutely hammering right-handed pitching all season long. Here now the 2-2 is looked at, and the count moves full. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to Uh-oh, hold that thought as this one is deep down the line in left, hooking, but it's a fair ball, home run. Sir Anthony Dominguez takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. Sir Anthony Dominguez. Standing in now, Charlie Blackman. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Hit well on the ground to first, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Here's Bryce Harper now. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Count is one and two now. Line down the left field line. But uh, this is foul near the seats. And that misses two and two. Fouled away. Another 2-2 offering. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And this is going to be through into center field for a base hit as the leadoff man's aboard in the eight. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The first base of our second team, Reese Hoskins. In now, Reese Hoskins. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. And the runner scores from second as they cut away into that deficit here. That makes it a 7 to 3 ball game. At the plate now, JT Realmuto. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the run is Tapia. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first out. Settling in now, Didi Gregorius. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. Three runs, eight hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Two and two now. I got to count two and two. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Dahl is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Stepping into the box, Nick now Williams. Back. He's hitless in three at bats to this Nick point. Williams. The 3 1. He is swung on and missed. A full count now. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. 
Hoskins blows through the stop sign headed for home. He comes across to score and it's now a seven to four ball game. Brian Shaw will come on to take over on the mound now and he'll hit in the third spot in the lineup as a part of the double switch. Josh Fuentes is into the ball game as well as a part of that aforementioned double switch as he'll take over in the number six spot in the lineup. Uh, changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it one and two now. Number eight. Into right field that's a base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. Neil Walker will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Both teams with an even 10 hits in the ballgame. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Ball three. And he lays off. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. Bases are loaded in front of him, so a real opportunity for him to put a dent in that three-run deficit. Grounder down the line at third. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Again, another foul ball. Two out, bases loaded. And this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Popped him up. Fuentes waits on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Hector Neris is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. And that'll bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. Lifted the other way to left center. After it is Williams. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. To the plate now, Josh Fuentes. Down low, two balls and a strike. Where this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matty. Dan, what does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? He's in at second safely. As also on the play, a run comes across to score. Now batting, number one. So now to the plate, Garrett Hampson tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. Still a ball and two strikes. No one out with a runner at second. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he'll get into third here on the fly out, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. So digging in now, Dom Nunez. It was a walk in his last trip. Gets the sign. Here comes the 2-1. Lifted down the line in left. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Locks him up for strike three. Now at the plate, Peter Mooney. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Men on third with two down. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Rymel Tapia, he singled his last time up. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. 
beautifully thrown splitter right there. High 80s, down in the zone. Looks like a fastball coming, and then boom, the bottom falls out of it. Terrific pitch. Hit in the air down the left field line. And they can't run it down. Runners on first and third, two away. To two balls and two strikes now. I tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get. And that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. And McCutcheon will put this one away, and the inning is over. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. The 1 1 now to McCutcheon. Swing and a line drive. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Now back, right fielder, Bryce Harper. At the plate, Bryce Harper. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. It was an RBI single for him in his last plate appearance. Now the 2-1. Don't know for sure, but I think he may have been taking there thinking his teammate on first was going to be on the move. Here now the 2-2. JT Realmuto is on deck. Here comes the payoff pitch. Struck him out. Now to the plate, JT Realmuto. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. The 2 1 home. Now, this crowd of over 38,000 on their feet. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Philly down to their last strike. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Scott Ober gets the call here as he'll try and look for one out to finish this thing off. Now pitching and batting in the first spot. Number 45. Scott Ober. All even now, two and two. And batting third. Number 22. Sam Hilliard. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Full count now. Three and two. Well, this is a big pitch right here. Two outs in the ninth. The last thing you want to do is walk a guy and bring the tying run to the plate. And he'll step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Always nice to get the first game of the series, but even more so when it's in front of the home crowd. Seems to energize everybody the rest of the series. 8-4 tonight. The Rockies took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Kyle Freeland wins his third of the season. Vince Velasquez was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. for our ball game for the victorious Rockies eight runs on 12 hits one error they left five men on base for Philadelphia four runs on 11 hits no errors they left 11 men on base
Time of the ball game, three hours and 23 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.